I'm here to give you your little quick 101 on angles. So, we have different kinds of angles, and we're going to go through this, that, and then how to label your angles. So, any, this one is, let's start out with this one, is a right angle. And I always tell the kids it's right, it's perfect, like right on. So, it's a right on angle, it's perfect. So, that is 90 degrees. And stuff. So, your right angle is your perfect angle. And then, anything less than a right angle, so 89 degrees to one degree is acute angle, and so acute. And I always tell my kids, that, oh, look at it, ain't it a cute little angle? Oh, it's a little and cute. So it's a cute angle, and this is uh, anything from 89 degrees to one degree. So, oh, that's very cute. And then the other angle we have is an obtuse angle. So this is obtuse. So it's anything bigger than a right angle and stuff. So it would be 91 degrees to 180 degrees and stuff. So, and I would tell the kids it's obtuse, it's kind of obese, that this angle ate too much, and so it's a lot bigger. So we have an obtuse angle, a right on perfect angle, and ah, a cute little angle. And then the other thing I wanted to show you was how to label an angle and stuff. So if I have this as angle A, B, C. If I want to say label this angle, this would be angle, and I could either say A, B, C, or I could say angle C, B, A. And the important thing is whatever your vertex is on an angle, is that's what is has to be the middle when you're labeling angle. So it could be A, B, C, or B, C, A. If I have this one as C, A, T, I can say this is angle C, A, T, or I could say it's angle P, A, C, but I just know that I have to have the vertex in the middle of my angle. So that is your quick angle 101 from Mrs. Sessions.